we smoke ourselves with the sandalwood to pay respects and let the spirits of them sites know that we're there. This is a piccabilla and we eat these. They're our bush food and also our medicine. Put mud around him and then tuck him straight on ash and cook him up, bit of bush tucker. part of the documentary was probably that you could eat echidna like I found that I thought that was pretty interesting. I loved how they cooked the yellow belly with the mud over the um, skin. I didn't know a lot of stuff about that area and I was very amazed. In class we've been learning a little bit about language um, but the stories that go with that language I think is really important. I reckon it should be shown to the whole world like they need to know about their Aboriginal culture and the Aboriginal heritage. I tried to sort of, sort of think if I'd ever seen a film like that before, um, especially told by Aborigines, especially our local people, and so I just really loved it. I thought it was funny when those two girls were looking at that animal with spikes on its back and they were wanting to eat it. Um, I really liked the, uh, the history that it brought to life. You know, we've all grown up as kids, you know, learning about the Red Chief, but hearing them actually talk about the stories um, almost from a first-hand point of view because it's part of their culture and part of their, um, part of their history. I'm impressed that uh, this is going to go to the schools. So it's not just out of a book, it's actually actually people actually speaking on it and another slideshow as well. You know, it's, it's one of the things that I want to sit my kids down and um, teach them about and, you know, being a family from this district, you know, this is part of all of our stories now. So I want them to have that respect for, you know, the land that we walk on and the people that have walked uh, this land before us. It's really a worthy cause that uh, you capture our culture on, on film because it's the way to go.